I think it's really important that hospitals make sure that they have good financial assistance policies that meet the requirements of the regulations as well as the statute. So that means they need to review their policies in light of especially some of the new IRS pronouncements that are coming out. So making sure your policies are accurate. Uh, the next thing is to make sure that your employees are trained so that they can adequately and appropriately apply the policies to the patients because if they're not applied consistently to the patients and correctly to the patients, that can subject the hospital to loss of its 501c3 or tax exempt status. That's the ultimate penalty for failure to follow the 501r uh, statute and regulation. The next thing that the hospitals can do is to make sure that their policies are on the website and that their website is current. So that's going to require some updating of the website. And on the website that you have your policies in more than just maybe English and Spanish, which might be the two principal languages used by your patients, but you need to also look to see if your patient population speaks in other languages, such as Somali or Arabic, because you may need to have your policies translated into those languages as well and posted on your website. For example, one hospital, I went on their website and they have their financial assistance policies and application in no less than six different languages. So I think that's important so that you make sure that the patients who are going to need the financial assistance have the ability to um, read the policies in their own language. And then finally, an important thing to avoid um, lawsuits is from both um, attorneys, but uh, private attorneys, but also from the Internal Revenue Service is to make sure that you are um, that you are auditing your uh, compliance with those statutes and regulations on at least a quarterly basis. Not only auditing those claims where you've provided financial assistance to someone and applied the policy, but also those claims where you might have thought that the patient didn't qualify for financial assistance and you need to go and audit to make sure that those claims were done appropriately as well.